Hi guys and welcome back to OG Cars and in today's video we have some sad news because recently we had a video where I broke down in the Wartburg going up to Rustaville and obviously it ended up being recovered back here. Um, the problem was the plastic pulley um, at the front of the engine which drives the water pump um, via a shaft on, on the top of the head. Um, the plastic pulley exploded and um, yeah there's our problem. So in the most recent video on the Wartburg, you would have seen that we then fixed that issue, but in this video, we break down again. I'm driving up to the NEC very early on Thursday, and here's the plan, right? Me and Sam have this all planned out for the RFA club. So we're gonna have Sheila bringing her um, caravan. We're gonna have Sam bring his trabby up from Devon. I'm gonna meet him there in Blue Wartburg. We're gonna go and pick up my orange Mandarin Wartburg Knight and put that on the stand as well. So you've got a Wartburg that's sort of like, you know, decent, usable enough, and one that is definitely a restoration project. Now, unfortunately, my breakdown didn't allow the orange Wartburg to go to the NEC. Now, basically what happened is I put a metal pulley on, as you saw in the, the most recent video, and I did do a bit of welding on the back of a pulley. Now this bit actually held, and I'm quite surprised it did as well because um, my welder, the wire feed, isn't very good on the SIP Top MIG 150. So I managed to, to blob that on anyway, but unfortunately there was a crack on the bearing face, basically on the back where the pulley bolts onto the front of the engine. And I was hopeful that it would stay um, but unfortunately it did not. I got about half an hour out and I heard a noise and yeah, I pulled off on the side. The temperature was going up. I had a look, the pulley, um, the nut had sort of like undone itself um, because the, um, the actual bearing face section had entirely broken apart and um, allowed the pulley to sort of like move and it just, undone everything and it was all a bit of a mess and I tried so hard for quite a while just to try and put it back together. I tried to put it the other way with the keyway um, and tried to do it up but it was just tipping too much. Um, so I thought right I'll try and get rid of the bearing face make it nice and flat so I decided to hit it with a hammer to try and break the rest of it off and in, in doing so I managed to destroy the pulley entirely and snap it in two. So I left it on the dashboard at the NEC for everyone to see in two pieces. Now, I got picked up by Sam because unfortunately rescue my car would only take me home, but we needed a car on stand. So Sam, after driving from Devon to the show and the NEC in Birmingham, drove all the way back through to Wales to get me and all the way over. We arrived at about 6 p.m. and put the orange Wartburg on stand and moved everything into place. At this point, the gates closed at seven, and there was no way we were gonna get an hour to Loughborough and back again another hour, eight o'clock or later by the time we've loaded up in the dark um, with the Orange Walkberg. It just wasn't going to happen. The Orange Walkberg did not happen. So unfortunately, that is the story of the Wartburg breaking down. The Wartburg, the orange one, actually got picked up on the Saturday night. We ended up picking it up and putting it in the trailer park. So um, I had to pick it up anyway because I bought it back basically last June from Simon Clamp. Big thanks to him for selling it back to me. Um, I did mention that in a previous video that it was coming back. So you'll see it on the channel soon. Um, and Sam did take it back for us on Sunday night after the NEC as well, all the way over to, um, to one of our storage places and he had to go back up on Monday to go and grab his Trabby. Um, so fair play to Sam, he's done a lot of mileage, big thanks to Sam as well. But basically, yeah, I did manage to drive that blue Wartburg back. So at the show, I managed to get um, a plastic pulley off of Simon Clamp when I was picking up the orange Wartburg on Saturday night and I fitted it at the show. Now the other problem, which I think may have been causing some of the issues with the pulleys, is that the dynamo was on a bit of a wonk. Now, unfortunately, the Morris Minor dynamo that I fitted, uh, which it was a Morris Minor dynamo that came off and therefore I decided to put a direct replacement on. Um, I think because the mount points are very, very slightly out, um, they needed a bit of adjustment. And I think the pulley was a bit too far on the spline, so it's further back. So as you can imagine, instead of having like a straight belt, you've got it running on a bit of a wonk with the dynamo at the bottom. And especially for the plastic pulley, putting a bit too much pressure on it. Um, but with the metal one, I mean, it was cracked anyway, so I can't actually um, say that it wasn't compromised before. So fair enough. But 
the plastic pulley that Simon Clank gave me and with the dynamo readjusted at the show, we managed to get it all back together and drive home. And that is pretty much where we are right now. We had an amazing show. There's gonna be another video on the actual show. G's gonna put one together um, just with some of our favorites and you know, a little bit on the YRMC stand and a little bit on the IFA club. So this is basically just a video to let you know where we're at with the Wartburg so far. And there's gonna be another video on the Wartburg. I'd say somewhere soon, but I don't know when it's gonna be. I need to get some parts. What I ideally wanna do is just rebuild the head. The bearings aren't the best. The pulley's still not the best, it's an old plastic one. I wanna get like an upgraded pulley, I wanna get new bearings in there, do the water pump again, just make sure everything is nice and working because I can't live with the car breaking down at every single show it goes to. Big thanks to all for your support and saying hello to us at the NEC. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope to see you in the next one on the NEC as well. Thanks very much for watching, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one.